Hello and welcome back to another video by yours truly. So today's video is going to be about a Citizen Pro Master Diver BN0151 again. So as you can see here from my previous video, I did not sell this watch or exchange this watch. Thanks to you guys. And that video really got me thinking, right? So this is, this is a video about this watch, but it is really about this realization that I had about us guys collecting watches and its similarities and parallels with girls and their clothing. So <laughs> keep uh, keep watching this videos to to figure out more of my train of thoughts right here. So this is a Sism Pro Master Diver. In my previous video, I thought this was a little bit too big for my wrist, and I was like, oh, you know what? It's a little bit too big for my wrist. I'm going to be selling it and exchanging it for something else. But you guys really came through. You guys came through and were like, hey, got hey, bro, uh, this this watch looks very good on your wrist. Don't worry about it. It looks very nice. You're not fat. Your wrist is not slender. This watch looks very good on you, and I think it looks very good on you. I think you should keep it. You look beautiful. You're a beautiful man. Don't worry about it. This watch fits you. And it really got me thinking, and it really got me thinking about how uh, you guys telling me how this watch looks very good on me and, and uh, assuading my uh, hesitation on keeping this watch felt a lot like when a girl asks as her friends or her boyfriend whether she looks fat or pretty in a piece of clothing that she's thinking of getting or, or keeping. And it really got me thinking because and then I saw so many parallels between us and watches and girls and clothes. For example, right, my girlfriend, she has like a bunch of clothes that look very similar from the same manufacturer and I'm like, I was always like, why do you buy so many different clothes that look almost the same? And then it got me thinking, uh, when I first got into watches, now I finally understood, right? Like now I just got another dive watch right here, the Orion Kamasu right here. I'll be making a video about this uh, uh, soon. I'm just cleaning the case. I guess I bought it used for like $135 Canadian anyways. Uh, this is going to be another video. But why do I have like four Casios? three Seikos, and two dive watches, right? And, and and now I finally understood why my girlfriend keeps all these clothes that all looks almost the same. For example, she has like four beige dresses. And I was like always making fun of her for her four beige dresses. And here I am with like two Casios, four Casios. I have two other Casios that are not on the table right here. And uh, now I finally understand, right? The watches themselves are not really to show off the world. Although, yeah, some people do buy watches to show off, but mostly for 99% of us, it's we buy watches because we just genuinely enjoy them, right? We just genuinely enjoy them, and they bring us joy when we look at them on our wrist, and uh, we want to feel pretty, all right? So <laughs> in, in, a, in a weird, in a masculine, uh, weird way, we want to feel beautiful, right? We, 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 we think that the watch makes us look cool and uh it, it it adds to our look uh so just like how i was hesitant about this watch and i was like oh does do i does does this watch too big for me you know for for girls it's mostly like oh does this piece of clothing make me look fat but for guys it's like does this big watch make me look like puny and you guys really came through and were like oh this watch does look good on you don't worry about it just like how you know, when I tell my girlfriend, uh, oh, don't worry, babe, you look beautiful in this. Uh, don't worry about it. Uh, you know, you don't look fat, blah, blah, blah. So this is the first parallel. The second parallel, like I said before, is that we do enjoy our watches for our own sake. For example, my girlfriend has four pajamas with like animal patterns, cute animal patterns on them. And it looks very cute. And she got four pajamas when she could have just gotten like one or two. Uh, that just have like no animal patterns on them and just serves a function. But why does it look like, why, why do I draw the parallel to our watch collecting? Then she got those four pajamas just like how I got my four Casios, for example. They're very similar, but they're a little bit different. And she just enjoys the pajamas for the pajamas themselves, right? So she puts on those pajamas. She doesn't wear the pajamas outside. She's, it's not like she wants to buy the pajamas to show off to the world uh, her pajamas. But those pajamas just bring her a lot of joy when she looks at herself in those pajamas or when she looks at the mirror in those pajamas. 
and she feels cute. So in the same sense, we feel, you know, quote unquote, cute when we have our watches on. It's like the watches are not for showing off. They're, they're just for our own enjoyment, like I said. So let's say the other day I was at a doctor's office. I was bored as f and I was just playing with the bezel of my watch and just looking at it uh, because it looks pretty and it's like it's it's fun, right? It's just for our own enjoyment. And uh, I don't know where I'm going with this comparison, but I'm just like, I don't know. I'm just a little blown away by the, the comparisons and the similarities between us buying watches and women buying the clothes. And I feel like by us uh, buying watches, we're kind of getting in touch a little bit with our feminine side. You know, like before getting into watches, I just didn't understand at all uh, why, you know, like women bought so many different kinds of clothes. And now I finally understand. They want to feel pretty. They want to just enjoy the things that they have. And it's the same for us. All right. So uh, this is about the, <laughs> the, probably the weirdest video that I've made so far. It is about watches. But I mean, it's about this philosophical thing about how we look, want to look pretty. And sometimes we want to look, we want to be reassured that uh, a piece of watch or a piece of clothing does fit us. Uh, just like our uh, the woman in our lives. All right. So here it is. This is the BN0151. I'm going to be keeping this watch. I'm going to be putting it on so that you guys can see this nice uh, rubber strap that I got for it. I think the rubber strap, uh, the, the rubber strap strap makes it more casual um uh, makes it more fun compared to the jubilee bracelet that i had for it as you can see here it looks very nice this is a t-strap rubber strap i'll put a link in the description down below as you can see here beautiful watch fits my wrist perfectly amazing loom as you can see right here amazing loom so so yeah this is it the citizen pro master diver i'm gonna be uh Making some more videos about some other watches. This is why I have them on the table right here. I recently got this Orient Kamasu for the very amazing price of $135 Canadian. So I'll put up the other uh, rates here on the, on the screen right here. So very nice watch. Uh, Sapphire Crystal, all the specs, uh, date, date, window. Uh, yeah, amazing watch. I'll be making another video about this. Now I'm just cleaning it because the previous dude... That was wearing it left a lot of grime on it so i'm just cleaning it right now uh, i sold my casio f91w and bought myself a casio royale right here i'll be making a comparison video about the casio royale and the casio g-shock right here because i think they share a lot of similarities in terms of size and functionality so stay tuned for that please do like and subscribe to my videos i know a lot of you watch my videos but are not subscribed so please do subscribe i'm trying to get it to a thousand video a thousand subscribers because after a thousand subscribers i can get paid by youtube for the ads money so uh, until i reach a thousand subscribers uh, those ads that you see on, on my channel i'm not paid for them so please try to get me to a thousand subscribers any uh click and help and comment and like does help so thank you a lot for watching and until next time oh wait 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 before before i leave I wanted to show you guys this nice birthday gift here that I got from my friends. It is watch related. So my two watch buddies uh, got me this nice birthday gift. It is a nice leather watch box that from Amazon.com. I can give you the guys the link as well if you guys are interested. Very high quality leather pouch for it. Of course, I did put my two most expensive watches in there. The Tudor from my father and of course the Hamilton that I got as a celebration for making a lot of money so here it is and i hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe and like and comment and until next time thank you and goodbye